Immigration remains one of the most complex issues in the United States. We just don't want to get stuck on political beliefs. We want to be able to reach out to everyone in the community uh, to build common understandings about immigration and to think creatively about what can we do as a border community to make sure that everyone enjoys safety. Alma Maquetico is the coordinator for so, TIAS New Mexico, which stands for Task Force for Immigration Advocacy and Services. She, along with other experts in the field, hopes simply talking about it can help educate people on immigration issues. Everybody is concerned and we all have to come together to have this dialogue. And we might not be able to agree on everything immediately, but at least we have to identify those issues that are um, those issues of disagreement or of, of common concern so that we so that we can deal with them later, but we are a community and we have to deal with those issues together. Some experts say the conversation needs to reshift from military only to looking at other areas of policy to bring security to communities. It's a huge political topic and, and as law enforcement we have to strike a balance and not, not get too far into the politics of the, of the whole situation. Our job is protecting and serving our community. Chief of the Las Cruces Police Department Richard Williams says the legal aspect is a big part of the immigration debate. I spoke to the group about the various goals of our organization for 2011 and how they relate to the immigration topics. The two goals that I focused on were enhancing community partnerships, basically community policing, and in addition to that, to enhancing multi-agency partnerships, and that's working with our law enforcement partners. Organizers of the Immigration Forum hope the event is a start to having a more permanent process of dialogue. They say immigration is not just about political beliefs, but it's more about finding common solutions. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.